Darryl Polo and Luis Villarino helped run the sites called I Stream It All and Jetflix. I got a hold of Polo today who told me he didn't want to talk until after the other defendants in the case go to trial. But he said he's a good person and the FBI is making it all seem much worse than it was. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, even the most popular streaming services couldn't compete with iStream at all. The illegal streaming service offered more than 118,000 TV shows and more than 10,000 movies. The FBI said Daryl Polo from Las Vegas sent out emails to potential subscribers urging them to ditch the mainstream services and subscribe to iStream at all instead. On its website, it advertised unlimited streaming for under 10 bucks a month. This is what the website looks like now. According to Polo's plea agreement, he used sophisticated computer programming to scour global pirate sites for new illegal content. He said he reproduced tens of thousands of copyrighted TV shows and movies without permission, then streamed and distributed the illegal programs to thousands of paid subscribers across the U.S. and Canada. Before Polo started iStream at all, the FBI said he was one of eight men who ran Jetflix. It's another online subscription-based service headquartered in Las Vegas. One of those men, Luis Villarino from Las Vegas, pled guilty for his work as a computer programmer. The other defendants, who are also facing copyright and money laundering charges, are scheduled to go to trial in February. The FBI said these crimes cause television programs and motion picture copyright owners to lose millions of dollars. The two Las Vegas men who pled guilty will be sentenced in March. Daryl Polo faces up to five years in prison and a fine of $250,000. In the studio, Kylie Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.